Barnett has a chance to finish its pre-district record with four wins. Taylor is looking for its second win of the season. Head coach Kirk Jones tells us why the Bulldogs can't underestimate the Ducks. Taylor always has uh, talented kids that they can put on the field and, and make some things happen. And this year's no different. You know, they, you look at their uh, skill position players and they've got speed and athleticism. And, uh, you know, they're, they're probably a little more run oriented than they are pass, but uh, they can make some big plays by getting the ball out on the edge in a hurry or throwing the ball down the field off of play action stuff. So um, we'll have to do a good job of limiting big plays and and uh, we'll have to do a good job of pursuing to the ball and, and uh, wrapping up skilled athletes and making sure our tackling is where it needs to be. What do you think about them defensively? Uh, a lot of the same. You know, they have athletes that they can put on the field from uh, – you know, they have some impressive linebackers and, and corner backs and um, some defensive ends that can, can run and put some pressure on you. So uh, we're going to have to execute and do the things that uh, we're expected to do well. And, you know, uh, again, at the end of the day, it really um, comes down to, to uh, doing the things that we need to do to give ourselves a chance to win, uh, blocking out of our uh, – not just our offensive line, but when we ask our receivers to go block or our backs to go block. Um, defensively, we mentioned tackling and pursuit angles and all those kinds of things. So uh, if we're focused in on the things that, that we need to do uh, well to win, then, then uh, you know, we shouldn't have to worry too much about what Taylor does. You called the Canyon Lake game a trap game, and I'm thinking that was not only because of the weather, but also because – Canyon Lake was still looking for its first win. Right. You're facing a, a Taylor team right now, I think, is one in three coming into this contest. Do you also see Taylor as a potential trap game? Uh, well, I think you said it better there, potential trap games. Um, I think there's different situations that you can get in in the year that are potential <clears throat> so-called trap games where uh, if you get caught up looking at a team's record and um, – some of those kinds of things that you don't really need to pay a whole lot of attention to, then um, maybe you can fall into a situation that doesn't allow you to go out and perform your best. Um, you know, there's all kinds of potential distractions around, especially for 15, 16, 17-year-old kids and uh, trying to keep their focus on the things that we need to do to be successful. That's sometimes tough, and if you can't do that, then you can fall into a trap of, of not playing as well as you you ought to go play so um, we try to eliminate that every week not just uh, last week or this week that's that's something that you have to be uh, um, you have to be sharp on some weeks it seems a little bit easier because you have maybe some big rival game and and you don't really have to work too hard at it that week to get your kids to focus in but uh, other weeks it can be a little bit of a challenge sometimes can you talk about that maturity that you have on your team and how they're able to focus in and ignore everything else around them and how much of that do you attribute to coaching versus how much of that do you attribute to the team leadership well I think we have a good group of uh, senior leaders on this team and, and uh, seniors that have played uh, a lot of downs, a lot of games for us. Um, also, some of our juniors played a lot of games for us last year, sophomores. So uh, that helps. It certainly helps to have uh, had those experiences and uh, have that kind of leadership out of your seniors. Uh, have a great coaching staff here that does a good job of keeping our kids focused on, uh, you know, not just the end result, but on the process, the the steps of what we have to do to give ourselves a chance to win. And so. Uh, you put all that together, then, uh, you know, I like our chances on, on Friday nights. Kirk Jones, one of the big reasons why the Bulldogs are so successful on the offensive end is because they have such a great running game. And when it comes to running the football, very few running backs are better than Trenton Halfley. It starts with how you can help your quarterback personally, I think. If you can go and block well for him and let him set up the pass, then you have running lanes and you can run the ball from there. So if you start with blocking and vision, I think is huge. If you can go and find holes where you need to and make the right reads on all your runs and you should be good to go. You play one of the most high profile positions on the team, the running back. 
especially in the spread offense because you usually line up right next to Derek Kaiser, the quarterback. Tell me about the team chemistry that you guys have and especially what y'all have been able to build up over the past few years. I mean, being that, you know, we've played together since our seventh grade year on uh, middle school and just working our way up and having the same quarterback, same running back, same, you know, core of receivers and such. It's just a different chemistry than probably most have seen in the past because we know each other so well and it's just we may fight occasionally or have a few of those ups and downs, but it always ends up going the right direction at the end of the day, so it's good. What are your personal goals as a running back for this team? Uh, I just want to be the best running back I can. If I go out there and I run for 60 yards and Derek throws for 500, then that's a good game in my book, and as long as we get the W. So, I mean, whether it's 60 yards or 200 yards, my goal is just to get the win. Is there any reason to think that you guys won't play well into November and have practice on Thanksgiving Day? I don't think there's any reason not to. I mean, we've worked hard from two a days all the way into now, and I think that if we just keep our sights set on our goals, that we'll easily make it to November, hopefully farther.